Okay, so this is a matrix. And if you look at this last input. So our matrix is an M by N, which is our size. And it's basically M rows and N columns. You can see here, here's one, two, M rows and columns. So this is two rows by three columns. So it's a two by three. So a square matrix is n by n, same row, same columns. We've seen this next one already, a column matrix, b n by one. So for example, So in order to add and or subtract two matrices, they must be the same size. So this is a two by three. We can add that to a two by three. And to do so, we just add first position, A11, second, A12, So again, if you remember, the inner ones must be the same. And then what we get, the size we get is the outside. So position CIJ in the matrix is a dot product, I is first, of row I, column J. Let's look at an example. So three by two times a two by three. The inside's the same. So I like to do the size first. We're going to end up with a three by three. So this first element, this one here, A11. Again, the first times the first is my first. It's the dot product of those. What I like to do is the first times the first the last times the last, well, that looks like it's just going to be zero. Those are the easy ones that we don't have to think about. And then let's just pick a random one. A, three, two. Let's figure that out. So that is row three, column two. The dot product of those two. And so that goes in A, three, two, third row, second column. That would go right here. We want to do A21, row two, column one. And I would pause it and fill it all out and then come back and check it. I do want to warn you, know how to multiply. There will be, I will be asking you how to multiply on this first exam. Throughout the semester, you need to know how to multiply. It's going to make things easier for you. Let's do BA. First times the first. And so forth.
So basically, it just switches the rows and the columns. IJ becomes JI for a transpose. Let's look at an example. The transpose of that, pretty much the first row becomes the first column. We just copy it. The second row becomes the second column. And that's how you do it. So we can see here, two by three is now a three by two. So what happens if it's symmetric, if it's a square matrix and it's symmetric? If you find AT, you switch the rows and columns and you get the same matrix back. Just a note here, if we take the transpose of a matrix and you transpose it again, you get A. Just look at this example. Switch the rows and columns. So AB becomes AB and so forth. And then we do it one more time. This row becomes a column. And we can see here, this is the same, three equal. It's not really a proof, it's an example because there's many different sizes. This works for all size matrices, no matter if they're square or not square. One last definition. So can you see what that is? In other words, it's a sum of the diagonal entries. That's why these are both the same. One, one, two, two, three, three. Right now, the trace isn't terribly useful. Um, when we do eigenvalues, we'll come back to it. Okay, that's it for today. Have a great day.